Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called The Organ Trail, The Hunt for Food Game. In The Organ Trail, The Hunt for Food Game, it plays up to two to six players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play, and it, uh, it's a very difficult uh, difficulty setting. In the game, you'll be playing as a traveling band of people on the Organ Trail, and you'll be moving around a six by six grid, trying to gain as much meat as possible. You're gonna start with 12 bullets, Bullets, and you're gonna to need to take back 600 pounds of meat to win the game. If you can do that, you win. It sounds simple enough, but it's not. And in fact, if you don't wanna just play the single game, if you actually have the original Organ Trail, the card game, you could add this game to the Organ Trail Hunt for Food and simply hunt for food whenever you need to, as you all would agree during the main portion of the main Organ Trail game. But this also has its own unique game all on its own if you wanted to just play it by itself. The game is going to start you off outside of a six by six grid, you're going to move on it, rolling dice to gain actions, and your three actions are going to be to move, to explore, as well as to hunt for food by rolling dice. The dice are going to tell you whether or not you're going to be able to cat, uh, shoot the different animals, and how many bullets you're going to need per animal, depending on how well you guys roll. The turns are going to take place in turn order, and you guys are all going to be using the same character to move around the board. It's a fully cooperative game, and it involves finding abandoned wagons, trying not to get stuck in a bunch of debris, as well as trying to carry back as much as you can to the wagon to secure your food. All right, let me go ahead and show you what the game looks like and everything included. So here we have the Organ Trail Hunt for Food card game. And as you can see, I've already went ahead and set it up. You're going to be setting up a six by six grid and using three cards from the hunting deck per set stack of cards here. So every single one of these stacks is gonna have three cards in them. You're also gonna set up the supply deck with four cards flipped over and the supply deck to be able to refill the cards whenever you need to. These actually are just simply coasters. And the reason why they give them to you is because during the Organ Organ Trail, the most likely disease that you're going to run into is due to dehydration, so use these for your drinks. You're going to start with 12 bullets, and it's going to count as 100 bullets, but really it's just singular, singular tokens you'll use to hunt animals, a character, which you'll be using to move around the board, and six dice that you'll be using to roll. They're going to have numbers from one to four on the dice, with four being the most uh, unlikely die number to roll. The game will also come with the rule book and the box. When you start the game, you're simply going to move your character on any of the outside spaces you like. So I can simply choose this one here if I'd like to. I'm going to roll the die on my turn and I'm going to have that many actions based on the number of actions I've rolled. So I have two actions. I can move onto the board and it's going to cost you an action to move. It'll cost you an action to explore and an action to shoot. Now if I've moved one, that's one action. And if I choose, I can explore. Now when I explore, I can choose to explore two spaces away from my character in any up, down, left, or right position. So if I want to, I can explore this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. If I roll a three, I can do th I could just do three away. However, just flipping over one card will count as that one other action. So if I want, I can flip over this card because two spaces away, and that's going to reveal a bison. These are the things we're going to be needing to carry back to our wagon to win the game because you're going to be needing a certain amount, 600 pounds of food. And in general, you'll only be able to carry 100 pounds back to the wagon. However, you can't shoot unless the path has been cleared, and sometimes you will also not be able to shoot if the path has been blo is blocked in some way. So that would end the turn for this player, and the next player will get to go by rolling their dice as well. That's going to be another two. So if he wants, he can simply go ahead and reveal this location, and as you can see, a clear path to the bison. So the last action could be to spend one of our 100 bullet tokens to have all players roll a die. Now if you're playing with four players, you're going to have four players roll a, roll a die each, and this says you need a one or two to kill the bison. So everybody's going to be rolling their die and you're going to check. Okay, so we've got one, two, two, and a three here. So that means you're going to just spend another 100 bullets and you have an option to do that or not to have the player who rolled the three roll again. If they roll under a one or a two, then that means the bison has been slain. If they roll a three or a four, that means the bison has not been slain and they need to spend another 100 bullets. Luckily, we're able to kill the bison. So we're going to be able to collect the bison as one of our scores. And we have, we, we actually got 872 pounds, but we can only carry 100 pounds back to the wagon, so we still need 500 more pounds. Then after that, he still has one more action. He could choose to reveal again if he wants, two spaces away. He can flip over that one. The next player is then going to get to go and roll their die. They have one action, so maybe they'll just choose to move one space, and the game will continue like that. Players are going to roll their die, use their actions to either simply uh, reveal spaces that are uh, depending on the actions, uh, one, one, two, three, or four away. This would be a four away, so he can pretty much reveal any location he is um, adjacent to or four spaces away from that adjacent location. And so uh, they're going to run into different things. So they might run into an abandoned wagon 
or perhaps they're going to run into more blank spaces. Let's see if I can find something else interesting. Oh, another bear. So we have one more action left. You can choose to fight the bear or go on the abandoned wagon. When they go onto the abandoned wagon, they're able to choose one of the cards here, and it's going to be additional bullets, clean water, compass, crutches, and all these other things. And the reason why these are going to be needed is because sometimes you're going to run into things like dehydration, and it'll tell you you need a clean water to cure you. And if any player draws another dehydration card before you're cured, you're going to die. So you have to be very careful because players can be eliminated in this game. But if there's a clean water, it can be used on this card is simply by removing it from the game. And uh, you're going to run into different things like that. And there's a bunch of different uh, reasons why you can die out here in the Oregon Trail. But if you are doing just fine, you can take 100 bullets and simply add another bullet back to your back to your hunting supply, removing this card, adding a new one down. Ooh, spare parts. He's still, he's got, he's on one, two, three. He's on all four of his actions, although he wouldn't be able to reveal this action. So if you wanted to, we can go ahead and shoot this bear. Everybody would roll again. It says a one or a two. And, oh, we got these two players who didn't do it, so we have to use another 100 bullets. Come on, come on, come on. And a one and a four. You have to use another bullet. And, man, we got a two, so that would take out the bear. Now we are two out of 600 pounds away, so we're doing pretty well there. But remember, there's going to be different obstacles as well. You're going to run into different things on the, on the Oregon Trail. Here's something that says lost. Here's dysentery. You instantly die with dysentery, so you got to be very careful with that. Uh, here's a deer. And let's see what else we got here. Dehydration, like I showed you before. There's also rocks and trees. Trees mean they block line of sight and you can't move through them. You can also, on the occasion, get locked out. If all of the locations that are adjacent to you are trees, you're in deep trouble. You can move on to locations that haven't been explored, but that means you're not going to be able to win the game because you need to reveal deer and bison and rabbits and so on and so forth in order to get the meat back to your wagon. You're going to continue playing until all players have died or until you have got 600 pounds of food and at least one player living. The other alternative is simply playing the Oregon Trail, the card game, and including this game along with it on the side, and you can go back and forth between the games if you need to get spare parts, clean water, or food, because this game is, all, is always gonna require different things, and they're both very difficult, so playing them together can work in combination in some way. But that is the idea of the game. 600 pounds with 12 bullets, can you do it in the Oregon Trail hunt for food? One little caveat I didn't really mention, but every time you have people shoot, even if they miss and they go to reshoot again, it's going to cost an action. So really, I probably shouldn't have tried to shoot with my last action because that can result in the player not being able to shoot again and us simply just losing the bullets and the animal not going into our wagon because we need to collect those. So be aware of that as well. Uh, let's talk about a couple of the cards too. We've got rabbits, which are the smallest. You can only carry 100 pounds back. And then you've got bears that are the biggest and you can only carry 100 pounds back. The rabbits are going to be harder to kill because they require a three or a four, where the bear and the uh, anything bigger is going to require less work. This is a two or a three for a deer. The bear is a one or a two. So trying to find the biggest things are going to definitely be helpful. And you can choose whether or not you want to shoot things based on how many bullets you have. You have things like exhaustion and it can only be cured if uh, another player draws a med if you draw a medicine card or use of that. Otherwise, most of these cards are going to say if another one of these exhaustion cards is drawn, the player who originally drew the exhaustion card is going to die. You've got rocks, you've got bushes, you've got trees, and all of these things are going to block line of sight. So you need to be able to move around the board to secure a clean line of sight to killing the animals. It's very important that you do that. So let me tell you what I think about the game. First of all, this game is difficult. Just like its original one, it is difficult. Just like the thematic aspect of the Oregon Trail, the uh, computer game, when I was a kid is also very difficult. Playing these games in combination is definitely going to be the best. There's quite a bit of luck in this game because you're rolling dice to kill the animals as well as flipping over cards and hoping the right thing happens. But there's a good amount of strategy as well. You need to be able to position yourself so you're not going to be stuck in the woods. It's very important that you do that. Now you can still lose the game in general just by not rolling the correct amount of dice, not pulling the amount of bullets you need, and the games we played were very very difficult. I don't think we actually even won a single game so it can be pretty challenging. And the wagons themselves are going to be lost around the board. You're going to have to find those spare parts to get those bullets back. We got to 500 once and almost got that 600, but we wanted to get the wagon and we got stuck in the forest. So playing it, like I said, with a combination of the Oregon Trail card game is kind of cool because you can go there, do what you need,
need to do and then come back and not worry about it. It can benefit you, it can hurt you a little bit, but you're taking that chance to benefit you. Overall though, the game's fun. It reminds me of the Oregon Trail. It reminds me of the whole going ahead and going out there and shooting the animals. This is pretty much what you're getting with the game is the card game version of shooting the animals out in the forest and what might happen to you. Sometimes you'll just be stuck, sometimes you'll be okay. And there's a little bit of that strategy, a little bit of that luck kind of all mixed in together. Overall, if you like the Oregon Trail, the computer game, if it's a nostalgia thing for you, I definitely suggest you check this one out. However, if you don't like difficult games, if you don't like cooperative games, and you're not a fan of the Oregon Trail style artwork or the theme of the game itself, because it hasn't, it does involve death and whatnot, and there's player elimination, I can see why that might be, not be a thing for you though. So really this is gonna be up to you as to what you think. Personally, I enjoyed it. It's gonna be a while before I put it to the table again though, because it's so dang hard, and it's hard to get players who wanna play a game that's difficult, like ghost stories. Good, but hard. That's my ruling. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all helps and we do greatly appreciate it, as well as checking out Oregon Trail, both of the games, especially in combination, because it's gonna make it a little bit easier, and I like that aspect of it, being able to go back and forth to two almost semi-mini games. But a lot of nostalgia factor in here for sure, so it's gonna be one of those things where I think the older generation's gonna enjoy it a little bit more. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.